hey, subscribe in this video. Whoever's good or bad is really just a matter of opinion in the end. You still can be good and love me too. I want you back. And that would mean you're losing out some friends. And most importantly of all, I put in all of that time and love into our relationship and still you decided to leave. Enjoy the ASMR. Oh boy. I don't know what I signed up for today. But God, am I glad it was this. Pretty bold of you all. To just waltz right into the city without asking us nicely first. But even if you did, don't take kindly to freeloaders who want to take advantage of our generosity. You all look a little too well nourished for my liking. So I'm afraid you are not welcome here. Maybe a couple of days in the dungeon and disclosure of some useful information might change my mind. And I'm afraid your only options are to live or to fight. I wouldn't be too scared if I were you. I understand if I might have been a little too tough for you guys to handle when it was just three of you. But I've got two more to help you out this time, including this. It's a precious little thing like you're doing in a group of troublemakers like this. <laughs> Don't take your compliments well. But that's pretty par for the course of you, isn't it? Pumpkin? You were walking straight back home and did you think you would run into me? Were you just going to pray I was off on a vacation while you spent a couple of nights here? That vacation would have been spat on some quality time if I ever had Anna. You know better than that. But not like it matters anymore. No one to spend it with. Guessing the whole no boyfriend's rule must be as then, huh? Or does that only apply to those who are considered unapproved by our self proclaimed vigilantes here? Mm -hmm. You can admit it now. You were just afraid of being kicked out of your new little friend group. But they knew about us. Could have gotten yourself some better friends. I'd just be concerned if they even want to be friends with you anymore. With how dishonest you have been with them. <laughs> You're not getting out of this one anymore. Tell them. Oh, just look at them. They are dying to know. wasn't hard, was it? Yeah, I'm a very scorned ex, mind you. Uh, that's rank 3 of the Black Bane Arbiters. Thank you very much. Some guy like us. No way in hell that you thought you were shaking up with some country pumpkin for the past year. Well, now they know you weren't. First of many revelations I'm sure they want to hear. Oh, why don't we tell them about that time we made our ride outside the council's office after you got bullied by the magistrate? 
poor little things was unable to get hard proof of all the name calling for some unfairly paid family debts. Could I just let you cry like that now? Could I? Pumpkin. And here we are all over again, trying to avoid having to go through the same problem from before. But unfortunately, you've gotten rid of your only fellow safe. No more boyfriend to make it all better. Oh, but the ones you don't even trust do not put you through the same thing are so much more worth it than the guy who went out of his way to keep your family off the streets. Your parents could have ended up getting their hands dirty like the others who expected a free meal ticket. But with a few strings pulled here and there, they actually got theirs. They made a decision. Having to deal with a few choice words seems a lot more reasonable when the alternative is having blood on their hands. We pay your debts, you pay us in the blood of our enemies. Simple as that. Well, if they ever change their minds, we've got four of them right here who seem to be very eager and walking right to their death. <laughs> It'll free you from any fears of ever having to be rejected by them. The dad cannot exactly air out the grievance. There's probably a few non-lethal methods we could resort to instead. Most of which remove the search of people out of your life. One nice way to get around it would have been marriage. Could have wiped your sleep clean and given you a place to stay that was far away from all the cries about nepotism. Oh, of course, they would have been my family as well. A family looks out for its other, provided they give back the return. I wouldn't expect money. I've got more than I can ever hope to do with that I'm willing to part with however much is needed to get you back on your feet. All I ask for in return is to be able to come home to a nice warm bed courtesy of my pumpkin. After a long and grueling day of dealing with the unreasonable people you've decided to associate yourself with. As if all I've ever done for you is have been anything but sincere. Anyone who's out here trying to take advantage of those of poor fortune could simply move on to the next desperate soul. I'm here trying to get you to come back. God forbid I actually like you. Enough to actually consider marriage. Maybe consider that. Well, if you want me to propose right now, I will do it. But it will be very unrehearsed and really awkward with those four just staring at us. Maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. First order of business is to fix this mess we have gotten ourselves into. I've made myself a few enemies and you've decided to join up with them. I want you back, and that would mean you're losing out some friends. And most importantly of all, I put in all of that time and love into our relationship and still you decided to leave. I at least want some compensation for that. The only thing you owe me is an apology for breaking up with me. With a warning, a reason, <laughs> maybe an explanation as well. 
We do this for our own. Mind you. They can agree to turn around right now, and we will not have an issue. If they want to fight, they can try. But I can expect the same outcome as last time. I'm not letting them in. If they expect a free handout, it's not their home, and they are not starving. They are more than welcome to bring in their own food and beds. But that is the only hospitality that will be given. Inns and sunrise are open to guests, not enemies. And we all know who you are. You better weigh your option of being jumped by bandits out in the woods or being surrounded by people who want you dead. Pick your poison. <sighs> It's a funeral. Now go. Be a nuisance to someone else for a bit. The two of us need some time to chat. There is no other place I'll drag my little pumpkin off to other than home. That was the plan from the start. We will be in the city shortly, but it's on you to find us. If I even let you. <laughs> What's one less member to your group anyway? One or two more people of your caliber doesn't change where you stand compared to me. <laughs> Think of it this way: you will have one less person to worry about tending the wounds for when I see you next time. Well, whether you will out of the city tomorrow as a group of five or not, you will know for certain by the end of the day. Trust me, you will. But until then, sever the time I'm allowing you today. I'll leave. So, you have some explaining to do. First, I want to know what I did that made you want to break up with me. It says a lot. That you left and decided to join up with my enemies, for people. Didn't you know? Before you joined them, I mean. So, did it just come up in their plans then? When was this? <sighs> Honestly, I'm glad you stuck with them. That would have been way too far away for you. To just be left to find our way back home alone. Well, you are here now, so did them. <laughs> Why not? You don't sound too happy about their plan from the looks of it. If you cared that much, then why did you break up with me? That doesn't make sense. Start making some sense. Still don't follow. Association doesn't mean anything. I'm me, and you're you. Those four are whoever they are. You can rub shoulders with anyone. It doesn't change who you are. Just like me. Wanted to date you again doesn't change that I'm against you all. Who says I'm bad? Well, that's the star opinion. So, what's yours? <laughs> Blood runs on the swords of heroes too, you know. Whoever's good or bad is really just a matter of opinion in the end. You still can be good and love me too. And I want you to know that I still love you. You're more than welcome to have it both ways. Be good and have your bad boy too. If that's how you see it, at least.
You've got the toys to come back. I feel like 17 and I'm not going anywhere. Your friends are though. I'm giving you all the time you need. But unfortunately they aren't. It's a choice between two things you want or one. And I think there's a plenty clear winner here. Even then, I've still got more to give. It's just about how much generosity you are willing to take. I'm willing to get rid of the problem that started all of this in the first place. Is that enticing enough? No more opinions on you being bad for loving me and accepting my gifts to you and your family. I suppose what I have to do to make that happen would make me bad, huh? But you're okay with that, huh? Or you? <laughs> now, show me how good you are by making the right choice. <laughs>